Hey everyone, it's Craig and welcome back to my channel, our channel here. And I have a little bit of an unboxing here. I've been waiting for ages for these items. I purchased them online about four weeks ago and it's taken so long for them to get here to the point where I was starting to get a little bit worried. It's not as if it came from overseas, it actually came from New South Wales, which is the neighboring a state which is north of Victoria. Uh, obviously, New South Wales has Sydney as the capital of that state, which everyone knows the Opera House and the Harbour Bridge. Um, so yeah, I, I'm really surprised that it took four weeks to get here. Firstly, welcome to my channel. My name is Craig. I'm 46 and I live in Melbourne, Victoria, Australia, and I have a great diverse channel with great diverse people from around the world. So hit the like button, hit the subscribe button as well, and um, become part of this awesome little community. All right, so I'm not gonna lie about this. I've got a really bad toothache today. So I, if I pull some funny faces or if I, do that sound to get some cool air into my mouth to desensitize the, the nerve ending because I think I need to get my tooth extracted or um, a root canal. So I'm trying to delay it as long as possible, which is the stupidest thing ever. Don't take my advice at all. Go and get it sorted out straight away. I know my, my tooth has cracked right down the middle. My dentist knew about it. We had this silver band which is for the tooth in front he removed it knowing full well that my tooth would crack open and i've got this strange taste in my mouth way too much information but if you suffer from dental issues then you totally understand and get where i'm coming from all right back on track craig all right let me open it so this is what was inside that box and now I need to open this. Okay, I've opened the boxes. And this is what I've got. This is from Glass House, which is an Australian brand and they specialize in candles. And if you've been watching my channel for a long time, I actually haven't done an episode on candles before. This is the first one. Uh, there will be more. And um, I love candles. It's my thing in the house. I have them in the lounge room, as you see right here. There's another one, the Trudon. This one here is from a friend of mine. He's got a business that's called Botanical in uh, Melbourne. And I'll link that down below in the description bar. So check that out. It's awesome candles, beautiful bronze casing, beautiful scents and he also does some amazing pillars as well so if you're in the market for something Australian something locally sourced and um, beautiful appearance and beautiful scents then give that a go on the extreme side um, then there's a Trudon candle over there um, they're probably it's probably the most expensive candle I own and this I've had for a couple of years and um, it's almost out. So I've got one there, one here. I've got one on the kitchen island, which I'll insert a photo. I've got one beside the bed as well. And I've also got a candle in my bathroom. So yes, I'm addicted. I've also got backup candles in my uh, buffet as well, which I'll also insert a picture. So back to this, I thought I bought three candles. I'm gonna have to go through my receipt, but I'm pretty sure I bought three three candles, not three candles, three candles. And now I've got two and one perfume. So I guess this is gonna be a bloody birthday present or Christmas present, <sighs> which is fine. Comes in a beautiful dif uh, dispenser here, which I don't know how you already full okay I'm really disappointed because it's one of my favorite candles it's scented is saffron and rose but this is a beautiful gift regardless um, there is instructions on how to open up the metal case so you just 
Twister. And it's got a exit point here where you press down on the top here and it diffuses, right? Then, it's amazing actually, it's got two refills. So, pretty awesome. I'm pretty sure this was like $32, which is amazing. This smells like Baccarat Rouge perfume. If anyone knows that perfume, it's pretty expensive. And I think it's pretty expensive all around the world. This one is a good alternative and it actually smells exactly the same. So food for thought for those that are in the hunt for a perfume, but the candle is amazing. It's better than the, um, Baccarat candle, um, surprisingly, because that Baccarat candle is like $130. And these are $50. But I bought these at the outlet, so it became $32. That's where I went shopping. Then they had this special edition after hours. So I'm gonna read to you what's on there. Sweet cigar and spice rum. So this is a limited edition candle, and it comes in, in a more decorative, um, vessel than what the other ones do, which I'll show you. Um, and there you can see it looks like an amber color with a bit of purple detailing around it. Let me open it up and smell it so you can have my honest reaction. <sighs> smell. Amazing. It smells a little bit sweet for my liking because I don't like caramel and vanilla smells. It smells like it's got a little hint of caramel. I love to eat caramel, but I don't like the smell of caramel as a candle. Let me read some more about ooh, let me read some more about what's in there. So the the blurb on the back says as the night casts its spell, a nocturnal allure draws you in. The scent of spice rum and vanilla cocktails swirl, and the leather of vintage sofas and sweet tobacco lingers in the air. I was taking you on a little visual journey to what this scent is supposed to do. Uh, we want you to love every moment of the scent of soy candle. Glass house fragrance candles have been created using only the highest quality of soy blend wax and natural lead free cotton wicks, which encourage a burn that is pure and intensely fragrant. Maybe in Australia. I have to agree, their candles are intense. They fill up the room, which is awesome, and that's what you want. You don't want a piss weak candle, they usually have two wicks. These are 300 and 300 odd grams. What's it say? Three hundred and eighty grams. There we go. I got there. I got there, guys. Thanks for your patience. So this one is going to be really good for winter. So I bought this as a backup for my winter stock. We've just hit summer now, so this will be sitting in my cupboard for a good six months. All right, so let me pop that away. Now this one is called Secrets of 16. So it used to be called 16 Chapel, and this was one of their most beautiful scented candles I think I've ever, ever smelt in my life, right? Then they discontinued it, and then I went to a chemist and I saw that they had six of them. So I bought all six of them. Then I ran out of them. And then all of a sudden they bought them back as a limited edition. So I bought them as limited edition. Uh, I notified my friend Hilal and Jake, who you've also met on my channel, they love this scent as well, and they're like, get me one, get me one. And I went, okay, I'll get you one, transfer the money, bitches. And then, um, so they sent the money, and then now they've got it in the warehouse as uh, outlet stock. So, this was 32 bucks. So good. So, like I mentioned, this is my favorite candle, and from this star brand, uh, second would be Midnight in Milan. And, oh my god, that's so beautiful. This is gonna get burnt tonight. Yes, it is. 
So this, let me um, read you what this says and it takes you on a little bit of a journey. Alluring notes of patchouli and mirth open to reveal the concealed treasures deeper below. Ancient frankincense combines with musk, making a spiritual experience that's both mysterious and restorative. Deliberately intended to leave you in awe. So it's definitely using scents that are really old and ancient, and it's taken on the Sixteenth Chapel in um, Italy. So in the Vatican, which is its own country. So it's amazing. It's so beautiful. Uh, Hillel used this candle, like I've been buying it for years. I gave it to her and her now husband, Johnny, for a wedding, oh, so, sorry, I got it for them for a Christmas gift. They used it, they burnt it on the day that they had an open house and sold the house based on the smell, obviously, obviously. So anyway, that was my little purchase for myself, uh, for my little candle addiction. I hope you enjoyed this little unboxing. I also would love to know if you also have a candle addiction. And if so, please leave a comment down below. I'll leave the links for everything down below in the description bar. Um, you have a great day. I hope your room is smelling beautiful if you are burning a candle right now. And if not, after you finish this video, go and light a candle. Anyway, see ya. Mm.